Well, 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 it looks like we have some brand new information coming from Insomniac Studios on their brand new game, Marvel Spider-Man Part 2. It's pretty incredible. Ever since last week's showcase, it seems like we're getting little morsels of information almost every single day on this game. And before that, we went basically two years with no information at all. So this brand new information is coming from two separate interviews, one with Eurogamer and the other with IGN with Insomniac Studios. Some really interesting interesting information and details here, so let's talk about it. Hey guys, before we get into these juicy details, I do have a subscription goal of 3500 before July 1st, so if you wouldn't mind hitting that old sub button, give me a like, I would definitely appreciate it. Now let's get into some of these juicy new details. The first one is very important to me, and they said that the demo that we saw at the showcase last week was from an earlier build of the game. So there was a little bit of controversy out there, people saying, hey, this game doesn't look great graphically there were some people criticizing the water effects and other different lighting and you know i thought it looked good but people were saying hey it doesn't look like that much of an improvement so now insomniac has come out and said that demo that trailer is from earlier build now you'd ask why would they show an earlier build at their big showcase and the answer is these demos takes a lot a lot of manpower to make a trailer could take like 50 or 100 hours of manpower to Put together so this is something they've probably been working on for months and months and months and so it's not the latest and greatest in terms of what the game actually looks like right now i mean the game has not gone gold it's not finished they're still polishing that up for hopefully a fall release hopefully around you know september october november all right next is uh, there's going to be balance between a lighthearted and darker story if you remember in spider-man and miles morales for the most part it was a pretty light-hearted story Granted, they were dealing with some serious topics at times, but it wasn't really that dark. I mean, the end of Spider-Man was pretty dark. I'm not going to spoil it here, but pretty, pretty dark. I don't know if it gets much darker than the end of Spider-Man, but Miles Morales wasn't that dark either. Actually, the end of Miles Morales was pretty dark too. Okay, so the endings of both those games pretty dark, but... This whole story is going to be darker, especially with Peter Parker, the symbiote suit, Venom, and Kraven. There's a lot of, a lot, a lot of opportunity for this game to be dark. I'm not talking Majora's Mask dark, but definitely darker than those original games. Next, the symbiote suit will have a serious impact on Peter. Well, no, duh, the symbiote suit has an impact on anybody, but, you know, I have a gut feeling that at some point in this game you're going to be playing as Miles Morales and you're going to be fighting Peter Parker with the symbiote suit on or vice versa, you're going to be the bad guy, you're going to be Peter Parker with the black suit and you're going to have to fight Miles Morales. I just think that would be such a cool fight, Spider-Man versus Spider-Man. But of course, it might be Eddie Brock, it might be Peter Parker, whoever the symbiote suit is on obviously has an impact on them. So I'm excited to see how that kind of works out. All right, this one, this next one is really exciting to me. You can instantly switch between Peter and Miles anytime in the open world. Wow. So just like in Grand Theft Auto V, all you have to do is press a button, and you could actually go and play as another character and see what they're up to. I'm really excited to be able to switch between these characters, not only because it's really fun and change the gameplay up, but it's always fun to like switch to a new character and actually see what they're doing. They're not just gonna be sitting on a couch. You might switch and become them in the middle of a battle, in, in the middle of a gameplay sequence, in between like a fight or a chase. It's just gonna be really fun to be able to switch on the fly. Or if you need to get to the other side of the city, and the other Spider-Man's already there, it'd be really cool to switch between them. They also said that there's gonna be story beats for each character individually, very similar to Grand Theft Auto V. I'm really, really excited to see individually how these stories interweave, and I'm sure there's gonna be like cross intersections where they're both at the same time have to accomplish something together, and you have the choice if you wanna be Miles Morales or Peter Parker. This next one is, is a doozy, it's a big one, and they're saying that this game is twice the size as the original. There's going to be boroughs including Queens and Brooklyn. So we're going to have Manhattan and all of the boroughs, which is insane because the original Manhattan in Marvel Spider-Man and Miles Morales was pretty freaking huge and this game's going to be twice the size. You know, I might need to fast travel once in a while. I never took the subway in the original games, maybe just to see what it looked like, but I never actually took it to like actually play the game. But if this game is that big, I might have to. My one concern um, for anybody that's not located in, you know, Manhattan 
or the tri-state area of New York. I'm from New York. You know, Queens and Brooklyn, they are not known for having a lot of tall buildings. Granted, both those areas do have buildings, but there's no skyscrapers. There's nothing in the world like Manhattan, New York City. So it's going to be interesting, like the different types of traversal that you're going to have to use to get around. Obviously, Venom and Miles, they're going to have like flying mechanics. They're going to have some weird new flying suits. So there's going to be a lot of traversal like ways to get around in this world because we're not going to be able to leverage really tall buildings all the times especially in the boroughs but i'm really excited to see what else they do to update the you know manhattan and new york city we saw it just like in tears of the kingdom how we could replay an old map and it could feel completely different with some really cool changes so i'm sure the devs at sonic studio are doing everything they can to make new york city the main map the main hub of the world you know, feel fresh and new for this game. But what do you think about these new details? Have they raised your hype level at all, or you're already so excited for this game and no new information was needed, or do you still need to be sold a little bit of how this game is going to be different from the original? I know some people were kind of complaining that that trailer at the showcase, the demo, is a little too long, and, you know, they didn't need to see that much of the game. Me, personally, I want to see every little morsel, learn every little thing about the game. But let me know. I want to hear what you think. Are you very excited for the game? Are you excited about any these new details let me know down in the comment section you know interacting with you guys is my favorite part of making youtube so i'll definitely get back to every single one of my comments guys thanks so much for watching this video like i said earlier if you're new to my channel definitely think about subscribing hitting that like button i do have a lot a lot a lot of spider-man 2 content in the works i'm gonna be making content up into the release and then way way past so guys again Thank you so much for watching this video. As always, I'm Turbo Justice. I'll see you on the flip side.